Welcome to Math 106 Online. I'm Mrs. Varela and I'll be your instructor for this semester. I'd like to give you a brief tutorial about some of the items you'll find here in Blackboard for this course. The first folder that you'll find is the Welcome. Nearly all of Math 106 Online is completed in my Stat Lab. I'd like you to look at the Quick Start Guide below in just a minute. First, I'd like you to know that Blackboard will be used for pre-class tasks. You'll be submitting paper homework assignments in Blackboard. Do not email me any worksheets, projects, or exam work papers here. They are not accepted through email. They must be graded through the Blackboard system. Submitted assignments are linked directly to the Blackboard gradebook. So only submit the assignments that match each submission title. For example, if it's a worksheet for Unit 1, make sure that you are submitting that worksheet in Unit 1. Your exam work papers are your scratch papers showing your work for each question on the exam. Those papers need to be submitted for chapters 2, 3, and 4. The first exam does not require any work papers because there are text boxes that you'll actually type in some of your answers. Each exam is going to have a password. Every password is the same, and that is the word success with an exclamation point. So if you forget what it is, just open Blackboard here in the welcome. You should be able to find that. It's also included in the test prep for each exam. So there's more than one way to remember what that exam password is. Use PDF format, please, for all your submitted papers in Math 106, because the PDF format is compatible with Blackboard to grade it and write comments on your papers. This course has specific due dates for my StatLab homework and quizzes, and there are 25% off late penalties that will be automatically taken by the MyStatLab system. Exams are due by 11.59 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So no matter what time zone you're in, make sure you are adhering to Mountain Standard Time for all due dates. And you can refer to your calendar for all due dates. There's a course introduction here that you can read through the bullets, required technical skills. You should be able to know and have experience with computers, or this is going to be a very difficult course to complete. So please read through and make sure that you can comply with these requirements. And of course, there's a list of numerous benefits of homeworks, quizzes, and the focused exercises and projects that are offered in this course. So please read through those bullets.